What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman. It is, I know I'm not in camo or I'm not whatever, I know this is a hunting video. Um, I'm doing this intro actually like a few days after the video is recorded. Um, for some reason or another, every few videos or whatnot, I forget to do the intro prior to even starting the video. And then lo and behold, when I actually get ready to finish the video and get ready to edit it, realize I didn't even film the intro. Or the outro for that matter. But uh, I think you guys are going to definitely, definitely enjoy this video. It was a decent hunt. Not by far, not the best. Um, one morning, excuse me, one morning we killed... Uh, six ducks, which is our limit of sculpt. And then the next video, you literally just see me by myself um, killing that one duck in the one scene. And then that was it. It was kind of flip flop of a good day, bad day. So, but uh, I think, like I said, I think you guys are going to enjoy definitely fast action in the first video. Ducks came in hard early 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 in the morning they wanted the decoy spread so bad whenever we was picking up decoys they actually want to land in the decoy spread still and uh, it was absolutely insane but uh like i said i hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned and i'll catch you guys well i say i might catch you guys because i already filmed the video but you guys will catch me whenever i get to the blind and definitely we're banging on some ducks this video so stay tuned Oh, okay. I didn't see him. I see him. They're all on this side. Yep. One fell on this side? Uh, no. I don't think one fell on this side because they all came this way. I know the first one I shot at. Okay. That was good. That was good. Oh, yeah, bro. They work. That's one Dude, one. that's sculpts. Dude, sculpts love that peep for some reason. Yeah, I think that third one that just floated up with the other one is immature or a juvenile. One or two. All drakes though. Couldn't be the ring next now, could you? Not in front. Let him land, let him land, let him land. Which one y'all want? I don't want you to. Which one y'all want? One, two. God died on one. Boy, I got that far one, boy. <laughs> All four of them, right? Yeah. All four of them, baby. No, he didn't. I caught the last one flying. Birds, see what we got. Yeah, dude, yeah. That, I think that's all smoke. No. Oh, no. Oh, he just got up. Shoot his ass. Shoot him, Mark. Shoot him. Oh, he got up. Is he coming back? I can't tell which way he's going. Is he? Is he caught up? That'd be convenient if he was. I see one, two. I'm trying to find the third one. Oh look, I see belly up over there, all the way left. Way left. Out the decoys. I see two for sure right here. Early morning, I don't even know if you guys can see. Yet, because it's so dark, but probably gonna be some scalp. Which I was hoping they wouldn't be scoped because I don't want to have to worry about a, a limit this early. Scope pin. 
Sculp Drake. Sculp? Yeah. The Sculpies. Behind us. Coming in. Come on, turn, baby. Turn, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jax, Jax, looking on the kill, too. That's Teal. I think that's Teal. Take him. Got one. Oh my god. Alright. Early in thine morning. It's only 655, I think. And we now have our three-man limit of sculpt. I'm gonna get this one. Uh, the only bad thing about getting your limit of sculpt this early is you basically unless you can see for sure what it is we really can't shoot at flocks because we don't know whether that's gonna be a ring neck or a skull so we got to be very very careful at this point of what comes in and what we shoot one scope and the other scopes in the blind that makes six scope three man limit before seven o'clock just got to be extra careful now <laughs> that goose is close He gone. Oh my goodness, that duck came out of nowhere. Good lord. I heard his wings. Adjust my camera. I heard his wings because I was looking at a snow goose. I don't even know if you guys can even see. It's literally two minutes after shooting hours. And uh, I was looking for a snow goose that I heard that was, sound like he was by himself. And this duck came literally, I heard the wings as I was looking this way, all I heard was Shh. And then I looked this way and this duck was in my face. <laughs> I literally shot him as he got in front of the decoys and he is stone cold dead over there on the levee. I don't even have to go in the water to get him. I believe it's a sculpt. So, that was my fear that I was gonna be killing my scope limit super early and then basically having to worry about killing other ducks as they fly by unless I could really identify them as not being scope. So we'll see how the rest of the afternoon, I mean afternoon, the rest of the morning goes. All right guys, gonna wrap it up on that note. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, still in the same clothes because I'm filming both intro and outro in the same, uh, I guess, same time frame. But uh, like I said, hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I should be able to get out in the next couple days to go duck hunt. Probably going to be by myself, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually out of work all week this week. Um, I am in quarantine. My wife has COVID, so... What do you do whenever you can't go to work? You go duck hunting. I actually tried to make a video for you guys, uh, go and run my limb lines. I literally filmed the intro of the video and then that was it. I launched my boat, tried to make it out to the, uh, tried to make it out to where my limb lines were or anywhere that I can remotely set limb lines. And the water was so, so, so low 
that there was literally nowhere that I can set my limb lines that was imme that was remotely close to the landing or close to where I normally set my limb lines. So I literally gave up, didn't even set out any limb lines, went back to the dock and then called the day on that note. But uh, hopefully the water comes up soon and I can film another limb line video for you guys because I have some pre-made and ready to go. But like I said, probably gonna make a couple hunts this week if I can before that front pushes through and it's gonna be below freezing. So. But that time will come the end of this week, and I will catch you guys on another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman.